Hey, I'm Kelsey from PoopyCheeks.com, and today we're going to talk about how you can make mock-ups for free without needing any expensive software. So here on my Etsy shop, Market on Main Street, I use mock-ups for all of my listings. Um, I'm pretty good at flat lay photography, but when it comes to the bigger flat lays and the t-shirts, I just cannot seem to get the lighting correct. That's where mock-ups come in to help me make my designs look amazing on the t-shirts the way they do in real life. So let's start out by going to Flower Child Mockups, which is one of my favorite mock-up websites. And me and Catherine are basically on a first name basis because yes, I purchase from her a lot. She has tons of different categories from the Bella Canvas mock-ups, which are my all-time favorite shirts to use, to bachelor party mock-ups, and she is offering you guys a discount today, so stay tuned so you can find out the coupon code. She's also offering all of you a freebie mock-up, which I'll be using here in the tutorial. So as you can see, her shop is filled with great goodies. She has Valentine themes, St. Patrick's Day, and she has the groupings for bachelorette parties, vacation shirts, basically everything you're gonna need um, for your mock-ups. Now that I've shown you flowerchildmockups.com, let's head over to Canva, which is a website you can use and it's free for photos and editing. They have tons of great resources for social media. And we're gonna create a design, custom dimensions, and we're gonna make it 2000 by 2000 pixels and then just click create design. And I'm doing 2000 by 2000 because that's the size needed for Etsy listings, but you can do it any size that you need. Over on the left hand side, you're going to see where it says upload. So if you click that, we're going to upload the freebie that Catherine is offering us today. So I'm going to find that freebie in my downloads. It's going to take a minute to load, but once it loads, we'll take click and drag it over to our blank square. Okay, click and drag. And then you can pull the corners to resize your image. I'm gonna pull it out pretty big. I want my mock-up to take up the better part of this square to give a lot of detail. And I don't wanna leave a lot of extra white on the sides. Once I have it where I want it, now I need a PNG image to layer over the top of this. So to get our PNG image, we are going to go to another website. So now we need a PNG file and for that we're going to go to my website poofycheeks.com. This is where I share free cut files for Silhouette and Cricut machines but in those free cut files I also share PNG images. So if you go to Silhouette and Cricut, Silhouette and, Cricut and then free cut file library you'll be taken to all of the free cut files I offer. Today we're going to use one that says XOXO so I'm going to scroll down to find that. Once you find the cut file that you wanna download, you're gonna click on it and it will take you to the page where you actually need to download the file by entering your email address and your name. Um, I do have a tutorial I'll link to down in the bottom on how to download those zip files. So this is the XOXO design we're gonna put onto our mockup. I've already downloaded it, so let's hop back over to Canva and upload that PNG file. So as you see, there's a DXF, an SVG, and a PNG. We're gonna use the PNG image because it has a transparent background. And so once we upload it and drag it over our shirt, you're not gonna see the white part. You'll only see the black lettering. See how that takes on the gray background of Canva? That's because of its transparent background. So once we drag it over, we can resize it by dragging on the corners and then place it where we'd like it on the shirt. Maybe rotate it a little bit using that bottom rotate button to make it look like it belongs right on the shirt. So this is perfect. This mock-up looks amazing. This is exactly what the shirt will look like. 
So now we can save this, upload it to social media, upload it to Etsy, anywhere that we need. And we don't have to worry about the photography aspect. And we're also not paying any money to use Canva because it, I'm using the free service. So Catherine has offered you guys a 30% discount on all of her designs, all of her mock-ups. And I'm gonna put the code here, but it's Poofy Cheeks 30 for 30% 30 off, which is an amazing deal. And then also down in the description of this video, she's linked to this green, or actually it's a mint mock-up so that you guys can use this one for free. If you go to her website, flowerchildmockups.com, you'll be able to download her freebies. Just click on free mockups at the top and once you click on the free mockups, you'll be taken to a page to enter your email address and your name, and you'll instantly get an email with these five freebies shown. So you can get started today without any money, and then you can use the code to buy even more mockups. I'm also going to link to a whole blog post I've done on poofycheeks.com about using mockups and some other places I find mockups besides for just t-shirt mockups. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please subscribe so you can see our newest videos. We're gonna be sharing a lot of tips like this, as well as tips for Instagram and Instagram stories. Also, as an example, I wanted to show you guys a website where I see mockups used quite often, and that is jane.com. I sell on Jane and I shop on Jane frequently. And as you can see, this top image of the gray sweatshirt, that is a mockup, just no design on it. As you scroll down, they have a lot of graphic tees, these Disney tees, those are mock-ups. So what they're doing is they're taking the t-shirt mock-up they've purchased, and then they're taking the PNG and overlaying it. You guys can create amazing images using mock-ups. So I encourage you to do so. The way they look is just so much better. You're gonna get more sales when you do this. You're gonna get more likes. Have fun with this. And if you do create a mock-up, tag me and Catherine on Instagram at Poofy Cheeks blog and at Flower Child Mock-ups so that we can share them in our stories and everybody else can see what you're creating.